Right, police say after getting called to a Cudahy neighborhood, office heard, officers heard gunshots. They couldn't find the shooter. The next day, neighbors discovered a man hiding in their attic covered in insulation. June 18th, police respond to the area of Packard and Carpenter in Cudahy for sounds of broken glass and someone jumping between rooftops. Officers on scene then hearing gunshots nearby. I got some guy push it up, Mike. I think it's a bullet level. I don't think it's friendly. A tactical vehicle rescued two officers from gunshots they say were aimed at them. Uh, just get me out. <sighs> Shot at three times now. I just want out. After a search of the neighborhood, police came up empty. That is until the following morning. A call to police from a man who says he found a stranger in his attic. Hey, I have a firearm. All right, well, don't use it. Come Turn here. around, put your hands behind your back. I came home, my bottom door was open and all the stuff from the attic was on the floor. The Cudahy man identified as Robert Turner Jr. So we're thinking it's an animal and he said, no, my name's Robert. Oh, there's a dude in my room. I grabbed him and I yanked him down and I put my gun in the back of his head and I said, don't move until the cops get here. According to a criminal complaint, police say they eventually found a gun. They say Turner stashed in the neighbor's grill. Prosecutors say casings found the night of the shooting matched that gun. At Turner's court appearance Friday, a detective took the stand. This gunfire is occurring in an extremely residential area of Cudahy. Um, there's a children's birthday party across the street. This isn't that late at night. It's the summertime. There was people outside during this. Caroline Turner has a prior conviction, too, on his record. Yeah, Turner was convicted of homicide by negligent handling of a dangerous weapon in 2007. Online court records show a judge sentenced him to 13 years in prison. He is due back in court on these new charges July 25th, Kristen. All right, Caroline Reinwald leading us off here at 10. Thank you.